we are going to create an S3 bucket. We have introduced what an API is, and in this demo, we're going to use AWS's S3 website to create an S3 bucket. What will happen behind the scene is that AWS's website will call the S3 API and in that call it will create the bucket. Let us start. We go into S3. We click on the option create bucket and we are presented with the screen create bucket. Here we need to specify certain information. So the information we're going to create is the name of the bucket. Bucket names have to be unique across the entire AWS ecosystem. The region where we want to position our bucket, we're going to choose Paris. And for the other options, we're going to take the default. Once that has been done, we click the button create bucket. What is happening is that this web page called the S3 API with the instruction create bucket. And as you can see here, we have our empty bucket. GUIs, graphical user interfaces, are very popular with many people. The reason being is that people are visual and they tend to find it easier to recall and remember things they have done visually than remembering texts of string. Proof of that is the success of Macintosh interface, Windows interfaces, and, and many other graphical interfaces we interact with every day. While GUIs are easy to maneuver, one of the shortcomings when dealing with GUI interfaces is that they are very difficult to document. If you follow through this video, a lot of activity involves moving a mouse to a position and clicking here and clicking there and filling a text box and keeping defaults. The moment AWS decides to redesign this page, buttons may move, labels may change, new functionality may come between what existed before. And so what happens when dealing with a GUI interface is that any documentation that is pictorial in nature will no longer work. So GUIs are easy to use, but for documenting purposes, the GUI is the least reliable technology you can have. 